Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know this is kind of like a different video. It's more like a vlog style video, but I kind of just got this idea very randomly as I was on my Insta story sharing some valuable information about EKGs. So I said to myself, why not make a YouTube video and you guys can study along with me. It helps me study to show like to share that information with you guys. So I have been doing that for the past two weeks and I add this and I put it on my um, Instagram highlights so that you guys can go back and like if you guys have any questions you guys go back and rewatch them. So, yeah so this week I've been studying about EKGs and they're the 12 lead uh, EKG interpretations. So I'm listening to my lectures right now and I'm studying along uh, listening and explaining to you guys as I go. So I have an exam and a quiz that is due tomorrow. Oh my god. Yeah, I think it's due tomorrow, but I want to get it over with today. So let's just get straight to it. And I'm going to share with you guys what I shared in my Instagram highlights stories already. So what is an EKG? An EKG, aka electrocardiogram, aka ECG, is a 12 lead interpretation of and how do I make put this simple so it's uh it traces the heart's electrical activity how does it trace the heart's electrical activity first of all it's a portable machine that uh you move around and it has leads so there's actually 10 electrodes that are placed on the person's body so the first four electrodes yeah the first four there's two that go on the arms and then two that go on the legs and then we also have the v1 through the v6 electrodes which those go on the chest and i'll try to if i find like an illustration or something i'll post it if not you guys can check it out on my instagram rn life highlights because it's important that we know that if you are a tele nurse, then this information is super valuable. You guys should know all this information. Um, not necessarily like, no, like you have to know this or you're a horrible nurse. No, but it's information that you should um, at least read up on, especially if you are a tele nurse because you guys use the tele boxes and all that. And But if you actually turn the telemetry box around, there's an illustration of the way that the, that the electrodes are supposed to go on the chest. And there was a green one. The way I remember those was, okay. So there was a green one, a white one, a red, and a black one. So it would be on the right side, on the top, would be clouds over grass. So on the right side, so clouds over grass, and then smoke would be the black on the left, upper. And then the red would be a uh, fire. So it'd be clouds over grass, smoke over fire. And then you had your six leads that would go like this around your, the heart. But anyways, so that you guys can get a better idea. And if I don't post it here on this YouTube video, then go to my RN Life highlights. I'll place my Instagram handle down here below so that you guys can go check it out. So the EKG shows two phases, and that's the depolarization phase and the repolarization phase. So what are these two things? So the depolarization phase is the contraction of the heart, while the repolarization phase is the resting or the recovery phase of the heart. And the way I'm remembering this is because that prefix, repolarization, is the same as re like resting and recovery so that's how i'm remembering also another little study tip that i want to like put in this video because i also shared it on my instagram is that if you guys are studying and you don't know specifically like a specific word or a specific diagnosis that you're not understanding instead of waiting to instead of just like reading through it don't stop 
Google it, find what that specific diagnosis is or what that specific word means so that it actually makes sense as you're studying, reading, or listening to this information. Because if you like ignore it and just put it like, you know, ignore it like it goes in one ear and comes out the other, you're really not gonna learn it. But if you find out exactly what it is, then it helps a lot. The other thing that I like to do is I like to study in increments. So like, what I do actually a lot is I do blocks of time. So I do time blocking. And that time blocking, I say to myself, okay, so from this time to this time, I'm going to study. And then that's my time frame. That's my limit. So it kind of like motivates me to hurry up and study. And at the same time, it allows me to make time for other things other than just studying. So planning ahead is key. All right, so it's time to study again. So I'm back to studying. Now I want to show you guys what my space looks like because you guys are going to be like, what? Like everybody on YouTube has their own little cute little desk where they study and it's all beautifully organized and blah, blah, blah. Anyways, this is my reality and this is my truth and this is how I study. So don't feel bad if you are also studying on a bed who cares where you study as long as you're studying so this is my space this is my bed i put my pillows here so i could lay on the side and this is my bed and then this is just like if i get cold blanket but this is the book that i'm doing here's my laptop and this is how i study and this is my reality no shame in that and i do have another uh i do have a desk where I, where it's in another, like in an extra room, which is kind of like a guest space, office, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, it's there, but I don't want to use it. Like, this is where I'm comfortable and this is where I want to be. But anyways, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, give me a like, make sure to subscribe. And if you guys like these types of videos i will make more videos just let me know by giving me a like 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 if you give me a like then i'll know you like this video so now let's get back to studying so even if you're not an np student if you're a student nurse a nursing student another word for a student um i remember learning about this in nursing school now did i like do i actually remember all this information and no like i don't remember but it's a great refresher so where does the conduction of the electrical activity of the heart to begin do you know so it actually starts at the sa node which is um at the highest level of the right atrium and that's where the electrical activity begins now that impulse then spreads through the atria to the av node once the atria are empty of the blood the valves between the atria and the ventricles close and that electrical impulse moves quickly to the his bundle to the left and the right bundle branches and then after that they move on to step four which is where the fine Purkinje fibers transmit that electrical stimulus directly to the myocardial cells of the ventricles and that is what makes them contract. And then once those four steps all occur, then the system starts all over again. My picture will be right here so you guys can subscribe and then if you guys want to watch more videos, go watch those videos because I make videos for you guys.